What's going on YouTube family? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So somebody asked me, how can I open up a booster box of Shining Fates? And I initially said that you can't do that, but then I thought to myself, well, yes you can. All you gotta do is buy a case of tins. There's six packs per tin. Yes, six, I'll explain that in a minute. And there's six tins, six packs in each, that's 36. So we have ourselves a booster packs worth of Shining Fates tins. We're gonna get into those, I'm gonna get into those individually, and I'm gonna explain how I, plus some other people, were trolled a little bit by some of these other people online. So, let's go ahead and get into this, let's get to the breaking table. So as you can see here, we have all three tins. We have the Eldegoss tin, we have the Cramorant tin, and of course, the fan favorite, I think it's gonna be the most favorite, is gonna be the Bolton tin. So we have all of them, and let me tell you real fast while we're getting into this, um, we got trolled a little bit. So what happened was, was I said that there were some videos circulating that said these tins were only supposed to have five packs a piece. Well, as you can see here, they got six. So these have six. I think there was just an issue with some of the ones from the UK. Um, and the other thing I noticed about these tins, guys, look at the shrink wrap. It doesn't go all the way to the end of the tins. So hopefully we don't have a real uh, resealing issue, but I don't think that'll be a problem since these do have pull tabs. So if you guys are ever out shopping or buying from somebody and you do not see these pull tabs, on the tins, they are resealed. Do not buy them. Do not buy them if you do not see that tab. So just remember that and keep that in mind. We're gonna go ahead and open all of these up and I'm gonna get all the packs out. We're gonna see the promos, gonna do all that cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get these all open real fast and we'll go from there. Okay, now that we have all the plastic wrap off, let's go ahead and get into this real quick. I'm gonna put these all aside, we're gonna do them one at a time, and we're gonna take a look at them individually, so you guys can see the promos and all that cool stuff. So, as always everybody, if you guys enjoy the content we're pumping out here, and you guys are ready to see some more Shining Fates, please make sure you guys hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel, as always. Helps the channel out. One, two, three, four, five, six packs. And we got our Eldegoss promo card. Let's take a look and see what kind of condition these promo cards are in. And as always, you guys have a code here. This is for you, for anyone that wants it. I give most of my codes out. Uh, I might keep a couple for myself, but for the most part, we're gonna be giving out all the ones that I open for personal here. All right, so this is the Eldegoss V. This one does not look like it's cut very well at all. Um, it is very, very heavy on this side. And also the edging looks like it could have been cut a little bit better. So I'm sure that, again, this is gonna be one of those things where the set is going to have a high demand of tens when it comes to the tin promos, because it's very hard to get a perfect 10 in these tin promos. All right, next up, we're gonna go to the Bolton tin. I'm gonna take all of these packs out individually here so we can take a look at these promo cards because they are pretty darn sweet, I am not gonna lie. And there's two codes in this one. Very interesting. So we have the Bolt, we got two Hidden Fates Bolton codes in one pack. Very interesting. Maybe it's a sign that this is gonna be a good box. So I am gonna keep all of these separately. Um, so we have them stacked properly. This one looks uh, better centering, actually. This one looks almost perfect, centering-wise, front and back. So this one looks really good. So this is a very good candidate. If I ever wanted to get any of these graded, that one might be one. So we got two tins down on this side. And we're gonna keep going here. So as always, guys, just please, please, please remember, this product is gonna continue to get released. So don't feel bad if you guys didn't get any already. You guys will find some. We got a Cramorant one next here. You guys will find the product, it'll be there. But if you can't find the product and you guys wanna get some, um, I am doing a live stream this coming Tuesday, February the 23rd. It is going to be a 1,000 pack opening. You heard that right, 1,000 packs. We are gonna be doing a very, very, very big opening for the channel here. And it's going to be lots of fun. If you guys wanna get in on it, check out the link that is down in the description. It is Twitch, or you guys can check it out on YouTube. We're gonna multi-stream that this week, so we're gonna be streaming on both. If you guys wanna watch on Twitch, you can watch there. If you wanna watch on YouTube, you can watch there. So we're gonna have it available for both groups of people. This one actually looks really good as well. So another good promo card for us here. So that was tin number three. So, all right, so we got ourselves the packs here on this side. And now we're gonna open up the other ones here. Okay. 
Okay. Back to normal speed here now. So as you can see here, we got three more promos, one more of each. Um, all of these actually looked pretty good, surprisingly. Um, all three of these were good, except for the Eldegoss. So both of our Eldegosses were heavy on the right side. So we do have all those promos here. Let's go ahead and get you guys these codes. For those of you that want them, we do give out, like I said, the majority of the codes here. So for anybody that wants these, these are going to be pretty popular. These are already pretty popular in decks. So glad to see I can get you all some codes. But without further ado, Let's get into these packs, and these are broken down individually, so here we go. We're going to slide these over so they're kind of out of the way so we can showcase the cards, but we are going to go individually here for each tins worth, so we're going to keep on. So these were the Cramorant tins that we're doing first, for those of you guys that want to get in on the action. And as always, everybody, we are hunting that Charizard. We want to get the Charizard VMAX Shiny, but there's a lot of good cards in here, a lot of full arts. And a lot of fun stuff. So here we go. Cramorant, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Coughing, Cacnea, Gossifleur, Snow, Trap Inch, Carcoal Baby Shiny, and a Full Art Gym Trainer to start us off. That is an amazing way to start out this Case 10 opening here. So we got a Baby Shiny, boom, number one. And we got our first Full Art Supporter. Now let's take a closer look at this one. This one looks like it is cut very well. Um, actually, I take that back. It is slightly off right to left, but let's take a look at the back. The back actually looks almost perfect. So very, very nice. So we have our first full art supporter card, and we are starting off with a bang here, everybody. Double hitter to start, and it's just going to keep going. We're going to keep going here. So like I said, these are all from tins. Uh, you can get these for MSRP right now is... $29.99. You can find these at your local Walmart or Target or even your game store. Now, hopefully your game store hasn't gone up on prices, but as always, you never know what you're going to get with the LGS stores. Horsey, Rowlet, Coughing Reverse, and a Volcanion. All right, so not exactly what we wanted here, but let me go ahead and get this organized a little better so that I can make this easier for myself here. All right, so that was pack number two of 10 number one. This set is just absolutely so much fun to open. I've been doing a couple of openings so far. We got a sneak peek at it last week during the stream. We went ahead and did some of that. We got it delivered literally the day of the last stream right beforehand. And let's see if we can get anything cool in this one. We have a Choodle, a Spinarak, Cufant, Gossifleur, Snome, a Full Art Grim Snarl V Shiny. This tin is absolutely amazing. And a Thievil Hollow. So... We already, in one ten six six-packs, have a Full Art Supporter and a Full Art Shiny. Grim Snarl V. Now, I will say this. One thing I've noticed, and I'm sure you guys can probably see that. You see how on the top it almost looks like there's like a little extra lip? Um, and it doesn't really look like they were cut that well. I was noticing that with a handful of the other stuff that I picked up um, that we opened on the last video. So keep an eye out on that, too. Um, I think it's just because of the sheer amount of product they had to attempt to pump out to be able to fill all of these allocation orders, especially since what happened with GameStop, like GameStop way over, way over pre-ordered. Team Yeltal, Rotom, Choodle, Morpico, Crop Duster, Gossifleur, Rowlet, Morpico Reverse, and then Dread Gnaw. Very nice. All right, so we are down now to, I believe, the last two packs of the first 10. So, so far, so good, everybody. This has been a fantastic 10 so far. Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Nicket, Horsey, Snome, Morpeko, Cacnea, Reverse Hollow Dartrix, and a Yan Mega. All right, so let me double check where we're at here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is the last pack of the first Cramorant 10. Next up will be the second Cramorant 10. And like I said, I don't know if there's going to be any difference from one to a new another. But on the channel, we like to just take random data and see what happens when we take the random data. Tropius, Gym Trainer, Weasel, Shinx, Trap Inch, Coughing, Rowlet, Reverse Hollow Weasel, and a Professor's Research. Okay, so we have 10 number one, one Baby Shiny, one Full Art Shiny, and one Full Art Supporter card. Not too bad, ladies and gents. Not too bad at all. That's a pretty good 10. Um, these Full Art Supporter cards are raising in popularity. Some are obviously more popular than others. I believe uh, Skyla is going to be the most popular from the set. Uh, but we'll see. You never know what's going to happen until a few weeks afterwards. 
see what pull rates are, stuff like that. Trap Inch, Snome, Grookey, Spinarak, Reverse Hollow Luxio, and a Ndidi V, Ndidi V, regular V card here. So our first regular V hit. And I also noticed too, so they changed the art on this. It's not the same art as the Japanese Ndidi V. Um, I've, there's a handful of cards that they changed that were rare holographics or just regular holographic cards in Shiny Star V. And they've changed the artwork on some of them here for this new set. So let's see if we can hold up here and get something good in this second tin. Eevee, Gossiflor, Yanma, Snome. I feel like we pulled so many Snomes already. Team Yell Towel Reverse and a Professor's Research. All right, so that was pack number two. Let's see here. I don't know. I don't know. It's so funny how sometimes you could just get a home run tin and then other ones are just duds. I've seen people open uh, ETBs that only have like two baby shinies and nothing else. So they are out there. The variance is out there. Reverse Hollow Thwacky and a Zarud. All right. Three more packs to go here with this second tin. Shining Fates. Dude, I was so excited for this set to be printed. Oh my. Was that? Okay, so it's not the rare card, but if you guys look right here, check that out. Hopefully that is not a reverse shiny like crazy card here. And we might actually have a shiny card, and that is a bad sign. Ugh, the top of that card was dented so bad. Choodle, Yan Mega, more Pico, Cramorant, and a Thievil. Okay, so it wasn't a full art. So that's good. You see that? Look at that. Look how bad that is. Oof, that's rough. That is rough. All right, so I think we have two more packs for this second tin. So this is tin number two of the Cramorant. So don't forget, everybody, we're going to be doing some giveaways in that stream on Tuesday. Make sure you're there. Make sure you come hang out. Everybody that is available that does do purchases up to a certain amount, I'll give those details later. But we'll be doing some really cool giveaways. We got our Poltegeist. To go at our Pulte Guys tin that we got the other day. Very nice. And an NDD e regular hollow. So, Baby Shiny. Let's see if the last pack can save this tin, though. So, so far, we only have a Baby Shiny and an NDD V in this tin. And that would be a pretty, pretty bad dud um, to open a tin like this. So, it's unfortunate that, like the Japanese product, at least they allocate to where they cut it to where you get one secret rare per one. Um, it'd be pretty cool or interesting if the United States could do something like that, but as you know, there is more variants in the packs here than there are in Japan. Cacnea, we have a reverse Q-Font Q and a Dreadnought, so not the best of tins at all. So that second tin was pretty much a dud. An NDDV and a Poltegeist Baby Shiny were the only two things that we pulled out of this. So this is a personal opening for me, so for those of you that are asking. Um, but if you guys want to get in on the product that we are doing for the channel, make sure you join the Facebook group that is down there below. Uh, I have a post up on pricing and everything like that. You guys can get in there. And we have up to 250 packs still up for grabs for the live stream. And a Rillaboom VMAX Shiny Full Art and a Celebi Regular Rare. All right, so big shiny number two. It is not a repeat, and this one is cut horribly from left to right. This one is not cut well at all. Ugh, pretty rough there, Rillaboom. All right. So, once again, we are opening up a booster box worth of Shining Fates, guys and girls. This is a booster box worth. We have 36 packs total to go through. We're almost halfway through. Rusted Shield, Ball Guy, the creepiest guy around. More Pico, Angry Snubble, Weasel, Nicket, Cacnea, Qfont, Reverse Hollow Zarud, and an Al Creamy V Full Art. That one's very nice. I keep forgetting about the full arts in this set. And this one looks very, very nice. Cut very well. And overall, just a very beautiful card here. Diabetes on a card. If you had one, there it is. Pull our full arts on the side here. So, so far, this tin is way better than the second one. Still has a little ways to go to catch up to the first, but... As always, we are hunting that full art Charizard. Can we find him? Is he here? As you guys know, we usually have poor luck when it comes to pulling stuff for myself. Far-fetched Galarian style. Look at him there with his tan. And a Volcanion. 
We have pretty bad luck when it comes to drawing stuff for ourselves, but whenever patrons get openings here on the channel, we usually do pretty well for them, so that's always good. I like to see everybody happy and satisfied that supports the channel, and I'd much rather see everybody that supports the channel pull amazing, since they're the ones that let me do what I do. You guys are the reason why I'm here, and you guys are the, the supporters and the reason why I'm able to do what I love uh, for a hobby. Rowlet, Eevee, and once again, I, I just want to appreciate this EV art. So, Sotaro, and very good art here. Luxio full art, or full art, <laughs> reverse hollow, and a Dreadnought. All right, two more packs left in this tin. And then we have met our halfway point at that moment. And we're going to kind of assess value too here once we get through this tin, or these tins. Because I'm curious to see how we stand in terms of MSRP compared to current market prices on the cards. We'll take a close look at that at the end. Eevee, Frost Moth, Shiny. All right, guys. Are those pasties? Come on now. <laughs> and a Yon Mega. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, last pack. Can we get last pack magic out of this? 10. So this one, we got two baby shinies. A full art shiny and a full art card so far. That's a pretty good tin. So so far, by far, this has been the best tin that we've seen. Um, without without question, Floatzel, Tropius, Yanma, Snow, Kufant, Grookey, Weasel, Team Yeltal Reverse, and an NDD V regular. Okay, we've hit the halfway point, ladies and gents. We're gonna go ahead and get into our second half now. Let's go ahead and bust right through it. Pack number one of 10 number four and this is the last one in this one were the eldegoss tins energy so so far eldegoss is in the lead here cramorant tropius gossifleur snow trap inch nicket weasel eldegoss reverse hollow and a cinderace regular v card Forgot they made Cinderace V in this. This was, I believe, the promo card um, from the Battle Style set. So I have one in Japanese with like a promo stamp on it um, from the Japanese Battle Style set. They sent them out in the promo packs. If you guys received any of the Rapid Strike or Single Strike Master sets from Japan upon release, they did send those promo packs out. We have an Energy, Rotom, Tropius. Rookie. I see something in the back. I don't know if it's in the full art slot or if it is in the final slot. We have a Veltal Reverse and an NDDV. Okay, so it wasn't anything special in the back, but we did get the Veltal. So our first amazing rare is a Veltal. Very, very cool. Put you over here in the middle. And another NDDV. So this is our second NDDV. Alright. Sorry, we're going to go ahead and separate these here so that I know which ones are which so that I don't open too many. Trying to keep track of the tins here. As always, guys and girls, please make sure you take advantage of these codes. Um, I do know that probably the first few people that watch this are going to try to get it, but please, if you are watching and taking the codes, please only take one or two. Leave some for some other people. Don't be greedy, please. Coughing. We have a Cacnea Rallet Reverse and a Celebi Regular Rare. Okay, so we're almost through this tin here, halfway through. Now this one we just have an amazing rare so far. No full art shiny, and no full art or full art supporter card. So let's see if we can turn it around now. Energy, Tropius, Gym Trainer, Weasel, Spinarak, Sphinx, Coughing, Horsey, Copperaja, Revert or a baby and a Lux Ray. That looks really nice. Love the artwork on that hollow rare. Copperaja. So we've gotten a lot of baby shinies out of this. Very nice. And so far, all the babies um, seem to have pretty decent centering uh, from what I have seen. So let's see if we can get some really cool stuff to close it out here, though. So nothing big in this one just yet. We have two packs to go in this. This one plus one more. Let's see if we can at least get one full art out of this. Cramorant. So, so far we've either had a lot or a little in these tins. We had a good one, then a dud, and then a good one, and this one is looking to be a dud. So let's see if we can get one more card of worth here at the end of this one.
All right, this is the second Eldegoss 10 final pack. Can we get last pack magic here? Ball guy, Floatzel, Trap Inch. Come on, Full Art, where are you? Where is the Charizard? Where is the Ditto? Hey, Ditto, speak of the devil. There he is, baby Ditto V. So this is the non VMAX one, and he is adorable. And a Delmize VMAX, so check out that pack. That is a last pack magic for that 10. That is a product saver right there, ladies and gentlemen. So in this one, we had an Eveltal, we had one Baby Shiny, we had one Full Art Shiny, Ditto V, and this one looks flawless, actually. Um, this one looks to be centered almost perfectly, and I don't see any kind of surface issues, no problem with the edges. This one looks really, really nice, very nice. And a Delmize VMAX. I forgot that this was in the set. This was not in Shiny Star V. I believe this was in another supplementary product. But check out that artwork. That is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so now we are on to the Bolton Tins next here. The Bolton Tins are the last two we are going to open. And let's see if we can get some fire. See if we can get a black, shiny, fire-breathing dragon. Actually, wait. That's right. He's not a dragon. He's a lizard. <laughs> He's not mega version yet. More pick Eevee, Gossifleur, Yanma, Snome, Reverse Hollow Key Font, and a Volcanion. So that time we did have another decent tin. So so far we've only had one dud out of the case. That's not bad. Um, all things considered here. Energy, Thwacky, Team Yelton, Tropius, Coffee, Sinks, Grookey. Trap Inch, Reverse Hollow Snome, and a Yon Mega. All right, so as you guys know, some of you guys are going to ask for pricing on this. Retail, you're looking at $29.99 per on these at six. So $30 times six, you're looking at $180 if you were to buy all of these um, at retail plus tax. So, so far, I actually don't think we're doing that bad percentage or uh, value wise out of here. Uh, Q Font, Shootle. Yanma, and then our reverse slot is an Eldegoss, and another Cinderace V. So we doubled up on our V cards. We got two Cinderace Vs and two Indeedy Vs. Um, so, so far, value, actually, I think we're almost on point here with what we've opened and what we have left. Uh, the Full Art Supporter cards are probably still in that $20 range, almost all of them. Um, Ditto V, I believe, is about $20 or more. Price has been fluctuating, like kind of like yo-yoing a little bit. And as everybody knows, after this week, those prices are going to go down. So do expect prices to drop. Some of them will plummet, some of them won't. Um, but there's going to be a lot of product open this week. So Weasel, another Eveltal, and a Greedent V. I did not know that was in the set. Very cool. So a second Amazing Rare Eveltal. This one's off-centered from top to bottom. But... And for those of you that are saying, why is he worried about the centering on Amazing Rare? Because I like to grade the Amazing Rares, because I want to have a 10 in all of them. They look very nice. And a Greedent V. All right, so, so far, this one, this pack here is, this tin here has got to pick it up. Got to pick it up. So, we got to pick up the pace. And guys and girls, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little teaser. If we can hit the goal, if we can sell all 250 packs during or before the live stream, I'm going to show you what we're going to give away. Nickit, Gossifleur, Choodle, Morpico, Rowlet Reverse, and a Manaphy. Real quick, I'm going to show you what we're going to give away, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to give away a Base Set Unlimited Blastoise. And this one's uh, lightly played. You can see some whitening on it, but it is still a Base Set Blastoise nonetheless. Only a few little hollow scratches somewhere on the back. But overall, a decent card. We're going to be giving this away if we can sell 250 packs through the stream or before the stream on Tuesday. So make sure if you guys want to get in, if you guys are in the United States, you guys can do that via the, the Facebook group. If you're not in the United States, I will still ship to you, but we will have to figure out shipping. Um, you will have to pay full shipping costs for the packs and the stuff. So keep that in mind when you guys do your orders on the Facebook group. Evie, Horsey, Cacnea. Another baby shiny Corv Knight and a Lux Ray. Okay, so this tin was a little underwhelming. We only got an amazing rare and one baby shiny in this one. We didn't get anything else. So, moving right along here, we got one more tin remaining. Let's see if we can bring it home with this last Bolton tin and see if we can make it go boom. All right, one more tin to go. The Charizard hunt is imminent. We will keep hunting him until we find him. 
Gossifleur, Snome, Coughing, Cacnea, Baby Galarian Yamask, and an NDD regular hollow. So, all right, so, so far we have not gotten there, but a baby shiny to start off this one is pretty good. Overall, I am not, not, not disappointed with the stuff that we have pulled. Ditto and Ditto VMAX are the two that I have wanted. Uh, I didn't pull them, actually. I think I only pulled one of the two when we opened up the Shiny Star V set, so I was very happy to see that. And got a couple other cool things. Yanma, Volcanion Reverse, and another Greedent V. So this box, or this tin rather, so far is teasing us a little bit. So I'm assuming that the ratio for the full arts is probably one out of every like eight packs. One out of every, probably one out of every six to eight packs. I haven't seen an actual number on that yet, but that's what I would safely assume that it is over the long term. Obviously, if you only open up a little product and you get a couple of good tins, your pull rate might be better or worse. Spinarak, revert, ooh, Kyogre. Amazing, rare, beautiful card. Um, this one is centered very well, actually. Uh, boss's orders. And let's take a look at this one again. So this one centering is pretty good. And on the back as well. So we have another candidate here for our little submission that we're going to be doing soon. So that's nice. We will be sending off some stuff to CGC. And I'm going to be sending off a separate batch of stuff to PSA. Here we go. Energy. Can we do it here? Can we get the Charizard? We have three packs left. At least one other Full Art Shiny. As long as it's not one of the ones that's back there. We want a Full Art Shiny. A Daydenny, baby! And a Ditto VMAX! Okay, so, so this one is picking up a little bit. So this is one of the most adorable little baby shinies you'll get. Followed by a Ditto V, which is definitely one of the more popular cards from the set. Ditto is going to be a fan favorite as always. So another Ditto in the family. We have a Ditto V baby shine, a uh, small shiny, not the VMAX version. And then we got our great bubblegum over there in the VMAX section. Shining Fates, man, this, this set's just so much fun. This set's gonna be fun to open. I hope you guys can join me for the massive opening that we're doing on Tuesday. Don't forget, it will be on both Twitch and YouTube. If you guys are on Twitch and YouTube, the links are down in the description for those. Horsey, Reverse Hollow Decidueye, and a Dreadnought. All right, everybody. Last pack magic. Can we bring it home here? Can we get... Can we get... The Charizard. Energy. Floatzel, Dartrix, Ball Guy, More Pico, Shootle, Eevee, Horsey, Cacnea. Okay, I think the next spot here is the Reverse Hollow Slot. Oh, a Reverse Hollow Trap Inch, followed by a Decidueye to end it. So, not too bad. Uh, we went. It's not too bad, actually. So, we went about one out of every two tins had a. Amazing rare, because we pulled three, we opened six tins. We had three full art shinies, a Ditto V, a Rillaboom, and a Grim Snarl V. So we went one out of every three tins with that as well. Now baby shinies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we averaged just over one per tin on the baby shinies. Not too bad. Um, two V Maxes and two full arts. Now that is kind of surprising. Um, because these pull rates seem to be a lot lower um, than the other different variations of cards. So, we opened a very small sample size. We'll be opening a bigger sample size with the live stream on Tuesday. So, make sure you guys tune in Tuesday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we'll be doing our 1,000-pack opening. We may or may not split it into two 500-pack streams. Depends on how long we take. But please, make sure you guys join the Facebook group get in on the openings and be a part of that opening experience it's going to be a lot of fun um, i might have a special guest here to help me open some packs uh, his name is ramon he probably will be here opening some packs with me and it's just going to be a lot of fun we're going to open up a ton of shining fates and see how much of the set we can open so without further ado everybody it's chris signing off and i'll see you on the next one